Andrea Perlo, famously branded as the Regista as he dominated midfields not by physicality but through mental and technical ability. This however is the complete antithesis of how FIFA is played. As you're most likely aware, the FIFA meta is heavily dominated by fast, quick and physical players. This completely invalidates a player like Perlo, whose only useful attributes were really just passing which already faces large diminishing returns. However, one aspect of Perlo's game that can't be attributed is his game smarts, as this is something only the FIFA player themselves can influence. But it's in this video that I'll be teaching you how to instantly improve your FIFA player by adapting some effective but subtle tips to play like the Regista himself. Ever heard of the saying one man's terrorist is another man's freedom fighter? Well, Perlo's pace is sort of in that boat. But Kukenji, didn't you just say FIFA is dominated by fast players? And to that I say, yes I did. To explain my point, I need to show a few clips of me adopting Perlo's slow play style. Watching the clips, you can see that I have slowed down the play considerably, but in doing so, I've been able to make defence-shattering passes leading to a goal. And it's here where Perlo's lack of speed can be seen as a gift, as it forces Perlo to obviously play slower, but by doing so, Perlo can drastically improve his passing and his vision. And this is very much mimicked in FIFA as I demonstrated through those clips. But the best thing about this is that you don't have to use either a slow player or a player with high passing, as in those clips, my striker build only has 75 passing to go along with his 90 plus pace. So you get the best of both worlds of being able to pass and control the game like Perlo while still being able to run. Quickly. Now let's dive deeper into the clips and really analyse what's going on. As mentioned already, I'm slowing down the play, but three key things are happening as I slow down the play. Firstly, I have more time to identify each play that I can make and analyse which one I really want to do. Secondly, I've given off the ball runners more time to get into threatening positions. And thirdly, once I've identified a threatening run, by not sprinting with the ball, I can not only time when to play the ball better, but I can actually play a better pass because my player can treat the ball more like a dead ball or a set piece because I can get better connection with the ball. As if you've watched or played football in real life you'll know it's a lot easier to scuff a ball that's moving quickly than it is on a ball moving slowly. Just watch Werner for crying out loud. One thing you may have noticed is how much space I am in when I make those passes. That isn't a happy coincidence, this is another aspect where you'll need good game awareness in order to prepare yourself to make one of those killer balls. To demonstrate this, I'm going to show you a longer clip that shows you how I position myself when receiving the ball. If you watch closely, you'll see I'm constantly facing the ball and always moving myself into open space so then I can receive the ball comfortably. Even if you don't receive the ball, chances are you're pulling a defender out the line and creating space for someone else. In this clip you see me making plenty of passes and being very patient and only until I see an opening will I go forward and move in. Now obviously Perlo isn't going to be playing this attacking but with this clip I just wanted to show you how to always be open and always be ready for the ball. After all, this video is basically just to improve your passing and awareness and I really honestly just added Perlo because I like him. And that is going to be me for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and will be able to take some of these tips into your game. But otherwise, thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye bye.